Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Stephanie D. Burroughs. Today I'm going to talk about three keys to marketing to government and public agencies. And I'm diving right into this. So number one, identifying your niche in the marketplace. Really tightly hone in on who you want to sell to. So that's going to take some research, right? So you'll know who buys what you sell and how they buy what you sell. So make sure you identify your niche. You cannot sell to everyone. You are going to have to pick, am I going to sell to city, state, federal, county, or am I selling to public agencies, or is there a combination of them? But really niche it because the more you niche, the more people will appreciate you for your expertise. Pick one to three organizations and begin researching their websites. Um, Follow them on their social media accounts and learn about them, their mission, vision, products, services, and client or customer base. Understand that working with and selling to the government or just marketing to them and getting to that point where you're bidding on contracts, it takes time for you to win and to be successful um, in going after a government contract. So don't beat yourself up. It does take time. Government agencies are much more uh, transparent with their procurement, so it's I like that because you can really go online and there's certain places that you can go to see exactly what they're buying and how they're buying it, what contracting vehicles they're using so that you can learn more about that and be uh, well versed on how to prepare a bid for those different types of contracting vehicles that are used when they're buying what you sell. They already know what they want to purchase and they already have their budget. So your job is to stay abreast of what's coming up and the, the challenges that are going on in uh, or the issues that are taking place. Because this is government, remember, and even public agencies very much close to government. So you want to know what's taking place because uh, sometimes the priorities shift and change. And even though they may have had forecasts out saying that they're going to buy certain things at a certain quarter, it doesn't always happen that way. So Know what's going on with those organizations because when you get the opportunity to do some networking with their people, you want to be have an intelligent, knowledgeable conversation, and they'll know that you took the time to research them. If they have e-newsletters or email marketing and it's showing up on their website, be sure to subscribe. And like I said, if they're on social media, make sure you're going and you're following them on social media and read what, or watch. I know some of the agencies, I watch their videos when they come out. In fact, they, I get a notification when they're coming out. I subscribe to them. So, you know, the SBA has some, DHA, Department of Homeland Security, and there are others. Whoever it is you're thinking about going after, go to their website. You'll see what they use and where they are online. Follow them. And finally, networking. Now, the goal of networking is developing business relationships. And it's very, very important. As the saying goes, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. So you want to get to know the purchasing representative uh, or the small business representative or the contracting officer or his team or the contracting technical officer, technical representatives, which is called a COTAR, or the OSDABU, Office of Small Disadvantaged Business Utilization. And that's all on the federal side. And on your state side, they're probably going to be known as their purchasing representatives. And the same with the public agencies. And with public organizations, they may have supplier diversity, um, di managers, directors, or representatives who are there. I'm telling you, those supplier diversity people or your small business reps or Office of Disadvantaged Business Utilization representatives are so important. And they really can make a difference for you uh, doing business with their organization. So don't take that lightly. And I do a lot more in working with my business owners to understand how to utilize that, their their um, expertise and knowledge and how to build those relationships, because it's all about relationships. These pe are people doing the work. So people talk about government as if it's this thing, but they're people. So you got to get to know them. And they say people do business with those who they know, like and trust. And I like to add to that and who leave them feeling good about themselves. And how do you get to meet them? Well, you're going out to various different procurement expos or conferences or seminars. Um, they may have uh, workshops as well. And in fact, talking about workshops, ooh, before I forget, let me just tell you to tickler the date or put it on your calendar for January 26th. Hold that date. Tomorrow I should be coming out with the event notifications uh, tomorrow evening or night. 
see I'm doing a lot of this stuff quite late. Um, so you want to be able to take advantage of it because it is on diversity certifications from confusion to clarity. What am I talking about? The MBE, WBE, DBE, SBE, VBE, w, OSB, EDWOSB, 8A, Hub Zone, SDBOSB. I could go on. Okay. You need to understand what's right for you and then just focus on those things. So I'll tell you much more about that at another time. You'll see the information coming out all over online. You know I know how to find everybody and how to get the information out there. Then I want to talk about some must-have collateral materials when you're attending a matchmaker. And that's one of the things that you should be attending because there we get to talk one-on-one -on -one with people who are directly involved in the procurement process. And also when you're visiting booths. So these are some of the things that you need to have when you go to an expo or something and you're going to the booths and you're talking to the people, specifically those that you've already identified as the right ones because they're the ones you want to go to business with, right? You don't need to talk to everybody. You be very, very strategic when you go to these things. As a matter of fact, I wrote a book on this called Dating Your Business Prospect, um, subtitled Practical Strategies for Successful Business Matchmaker Meetings. And you can find that on my website, on my um, sales page. And um, it's www.stephaniespeaking.com. So you can find that book there along with some other products that I have for sale. And I have a sale on it right now. I, I was supposed to end the sale. I didn't. So you better jump on there in a hurry if you want to purchase it. It's not just a printed book. There's also an audio book so you can stick the CD in, in the car and listen. Okay. Um, so having... A capability statement. If you're going after federal government, you definitely want to have that. And you don't use the same capability statement for everyone. So I may be talking on these three pieces a little bit more on separate um, videos because there's just so much to say. And business cards. One of the things I find is that people are just not taking advantage of the real estate on that business card. So I want to talk to you more about that in my next video on the things that really should be showing up on your business card. One of the things that's very important, and I'll just give you a hint on this right now, is your socioeconomic or diverse supplier certifications. That should be on your card. So are you an MBE, WBE, DBE, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Are you, have you been certified as those, if any of those things? And you can also use a tripod brochure um, because sometimes you have more that you want to say on there or, di or a different way of which to uh, share the information about your company, your products, your services, your expertise. I'm going to stop there. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. So the light in me bows to and honors the light in you. Namaste.